Our next guest here on Football Americas is playing in the German Cup final this weekend on ESPN plus RB Leipzig against Eintracht Frankfurt. Paxton Aronson, great to have you back on the show. Yeah, nice to be back. Uh, good to see you. So tell us a little bit about final week. Obviously, this is a, a massive game, huge game for the club. What's it been like around training? Uh, the energy's been been great. And like you said, massive game for the club, uh, massive stakes and Everything that I've heard from the DFB Cup uh, final is just, they call it over here, the, the Super Bowl of Germany. So the atmosphere is crazy, you know, 75,000 fans, energy's high, super intense, but we've been handling it great in training, and I know we're super excited to just get after it. You played in some big games over here in your time with the Philadelphia Union. Did it prepare you at all? Are there any similarities in terms of build up to a big game in MLS versus what you're experiencing this week? I think uh, for sure, finals, no matter what you plan, all kind of have that same feeling, you know, going into it, you know, you have to give 100% and at the end of the day, it's just going to be a, a fight and yeah, you leave it all out in the field and hope to be victorious at the end of it. Like you said, I got that experience in, uh, in Philly in the MLS Cup final, that, that thriller. And I think all finals share similarities. Of course, there's differences in the opponents you play, but yeah, it definitely prepared me. You, you buy into that? Like, we talk about it on the show a lot that, like, all finals kind of have a certain feel to them. They, they tend to be, even if you have two, like, really attacking, aggressive teams, kind of cagey affairs. Is, is that what you've experienced and what you expect this weekend? Yeah, I think, you know, it's, like you said, there are the similarities, the first 15 minutes of every final, you know, it's kind of like the nerve setting in. You take the first 15 minutes to kind of settle everything down, feel out the opponent. And then from there on, you take it. But always in the first 15, 20 minutes, it's always chaotic. You know, it's just you're giving all the energy that you've built up the entire week. I track Frankfurt's a historic club. Have you gotten any sense? I don't know, maybe from the guys in the in the dressing room or maybe even from the, the people in the street, kind of what a, a championship like this would mean to the club. Yeah, I've I've gotten the feel about it. Just talking to some guys, you know, we've had two guys on the team now that won the uh, cup in 2018 with Eintracht, Timothy Chandler, fellow American, and Makoto Hasebi, uh, Japanese center back. And I've kind of talked to them and just what it means to the club. And bouncing back to last year when uh, we won the Europa League final, seeing the scenes of that, seeing the city um, on camera and just talking to the guys and the experience and, and the feeling about all of that. And the fans still show that passion to this day. So I know how much it would mean to the city and, and to the club. Well, we got a guy on ESPN FC, Jan Agafjortov, who of course played at Eintracht Frankfurt. He always talks about the fan base there and, and the club. What, what is that fan base like? What do they bring to your games? Oh, they're, they're truly incredible. Every home game is magnificent and every away game they make it feel like home really the support since I've been here is the number one thing that I've noticed how into detail the fans are and how diehard they are you know what I mean it was this past game when we played against Freiburg we were losing 1-0 and I, I don't know what minute but you just heard the fans edging us on edging us on the entire game they always believed in us you know and they give us that extra kick and at the end we we made the 2-1 and we ended up getting Europe but they were a huge part of it Let's look back at the season as a whole, both, I think, individually and collectively. We'll start with the collective since we're talking about the team. As you assess the Bundesliga campaign, how do you feel about it now looking back on it? I think it's been a successful campaign, you know. I've only joined since January, so I've came for five months. But it, we've had our ups and downs, you know. A couple of results didn't go the way we wanted, where we thought we should have gotten more. A couple of draws here and there. At the end of the day, we, we fought hard and ended up, our number one goal was to obviously achieve Europe this year, and we ended up getting that, um, and we're in a final. Uh, so, you know, you can't complain too much. What about you? I mean, you do the thing that I think, you know, on paper seems to be the hardest, you know, to make the jump to Europe and to do it mid-season. You know, how do you feel about your first five, six months over there? Um, I think it's gone tremendously well for me. Of course, there's always things I think I can improve, but from where I was coming here um, as a 19-year-old kid with no experience in Europe and to where I am now, the player and the person that I've kind of adapted to over these five months, I've, I've been really happy with myself and I've been really happy with the club and how they've approached me and how they've handled me and 
just kind of let me uh, excel and kind of take my own path at my own pace. So I think it's been a really good five months for me. You use the word adapted. How have you changed in those five months? Um, on and off the field, you know, living alone, just kind of being more independent, uh, as simple things as learning how to cook and stuff like that. And then on the field, just, I'd say, when you come over here, you know, there's so many more veterans of the game. Of course, you have the veterans in MLS, but here there's guys that have been playing at this level for, you know, uh, Makoto Zebi has been playing at this level for 20 plus years, you know, so these guys bring stuff different. And for me, it was my main goal to just take things from these guys and learn and adapt and see what I can uh, take from them. And yeah, that's important for me. I don't know if you ever watched, you know, other ESPN shows, but they'll always say, what was your welcome to the NFL moment? Your welcome to the NBA moment, whatever that was. Was there a welcome to the Bundesliga, welcome to European football moment for Paxton Aronson? Good or bad? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say it was just a moment on the field. I remember we were in Dubai, my first preseason game, my first game for the club. We were playing against Leipzig, matter of fact. And I started that game and I came... I got a ball played to me. There was a guy on my back and I just waited for the ball. You know, I thought I had time and I just got killed, you know, from behind. Just a guy came right through my back and just hit me. And Gibraltar, our number eight, was like, you don't have that time here in Bundesliga. You'll learn. I had to learn too, but trust me, you don't have the time. You have to come to the ball. And yeah, that was kind of the moment I realized. Nice, nice. And now you get rid of the ball a lot quicker? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm checking to the ball, I'm never <laughs> standing still. All right, so uh, I got to ask you about the under-20 team, because obviously you're with Eintracht Frankfurt, um, great season, you know, German Cup final. I'm sure you're watching the boys. What have you thought about how they've been playing? They're now uh, through to the quarterfinal. Yeah, those are my guys. I've been watching every game. I talk to them before every game. Um, they've been really playing uh, spectacular. You know, they've been a joy to watch, uh, just like yesterday. Their relentlessness in scoring, but both defending. In the 95th minute yesterday, New Zealand gets a breakaway and Justin Che comes and makes a beautiful tackle to keep the clean sheet. So they have a great mentality, a great group of guys with a great coaching staff. So I know the group and I know they can go really, really far in the tournament. You missing it a little bit? Yeah, of course. But I think when the opportunity presents itself here, um, this is my club and I've loved the club ever since I came here and to be a part of... Uh, the German Cup final is an opportunity like no other. And yeah, so I'm really excited to be here and be in that as well. And as big a role as you would have with the U20s, you have a growing role there at Eintracht Frankfurt. I feel like when you first got there, especially mid-season, at least what we talked about on this show was, you know, it's a project for the future. You know, we won't expect too many minutes. You have a role now. You come off the bench pretty, pretty regularly. How would you describe your role and specifically what, what the coaching staff is asking of you? Yeah, uh, like you said, it's kind of changed since I came here, like we spoke about uh, whenever that was, the roles have kind of changed. And for me, it's just coming into the game and bringing energy. Um, I think, you know, the crowd feeds on it, the players feed on it. When you come in as a sub and you bring these fresh legs and you bring this fresh energy and the players on the field think, OK, we can get this guy the ball. He can he can make a difference. And the coaching staff communicate to me all the time on the field, whether it's just little things defensively, little things attackingly. The coach is always feeding me information, trying to give me that extra boost to confidence. And he's played a huge, huge role in my development. So I can't thank him enough for that and the entire coaching staff. There he is, Paxton Aronson. Great to have you back on the show with us. Good luck this weekend in the German Cup final against RB Leipzig. You know, all of the uh, Football Americas crew will be rooting for you. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.